Hey guys, it's Lasalle and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you my deep conditioning routine. For curly hair, or I guess in hair in general, you're supposed to deep condition your hair at least once a week to keep it all nice and healthy and moisturized and all that good stuff. So, if you guys want to see my deep conditioning routine and the products that I use, then just keep on watching. So, when I deep condition my hair, I kind of do it in a certain order of things. So, like, whenever you read the instructions on a hair mask or a deep conditioning mask, it always says to apply to clean hair. But, usually, I only wash my hair maximum twice a week. By that time my hair is all knotted and matted and nonsensical. So what I do is actually reverse condition shampoo trick. So this is a new line that I'm trying out. It's called Ala Botanical Natural Hawaiian No Damaging Sulfates or Formula Dyes. So what I do first is I actually condition my hair. I will condition it all the way, almost all of them to the roots so that I can detangle my hair properly. That way the mask can be distributed throughout my hair properly in one shot. So first I will condition and detangle my hair and then I will clip it up at the top of my head and then wash the rest of my body. After that, I will take the Aloe Botanical Natural Hawaiian Shampoo. I will only shampoo the roots of my hair and just scrub it all in there just to get all the buildup or anything that's happened during the week. Once you put it underneath the shower head, the shampoo as it runs down your hair, it will clean it in that way. Right after that, I actually take this hair mask from Shea Moisture. It is the Nuka and Honey, Nuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. As you can see, it's basically gone. Like me and my sister use this, and like there's nothing left. So I would take this just to rid all throughout my hair and then once that's done I will actually take a shower cap put it on top of my head and then I actually take a towel I soak it in hot water bring it out and then tie it up in a turnstile and kind of and I just let the mask soak into my hair for about an hour. The reason I put the shower cap on is to protect my hair from the towel so that's me reducing frizz and the reason I soak the towel in hot water due to the hot the heat generated from the top of my head along with the hot soaking wet well damp at this point towel so that the mask really does I make sure it seeps into my hair for that hour. By then you could just do whatever, watch some YouTube videos, go on your phone, watch Netflix, but usually I will actually do a face mask during this time as well. And then once the time's up, I'll take off the face mask, I'll wash out my hair, and then style as usual. And that is my deep conditioning routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and informative. There are a ton of other ways. You don't have to buy a hair mask. You could always DIY, D, D, DIY, DIY. You could always DIY one. There are a ton of videos and posts and all that on the internet on how to DIY your own hair mask. And sometimes those are even better because you get natural products in their raw state and that's like 10 times better than anything you could ever buy but so far I like this one from Shea Moisture I've tried out a couple and 
that's just where we stand right now. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're not subscribed, hello, just go click the red button, just right down there. Just click the button. <laughs> I post new videos every single Saturday, so I'll see you guys here next Saturday. Bye, guys. Don't ever come to me. <laughs> All she talking about is come and see me for once. Come and see me for once. Don't ever come to me. Don't ever come to me.